club staff, fraternity members, and all the colleagues. Hi. Good. my boys were Emily. Sister. This is amazing. So Irene has rightfully said that Emily did do a very good garden butterflies. She was not chasing butterflies. She concentrated on putting up a well manicured garden of butterflies. And that's why we are all here to celebrate her life. So um, I know we have choir masters and choir masters. The song is a part of our program, What Friend We Have in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. Nice. So now um, I want to welcome a Clevis, Clevis, just to share the tribute on behalf of staff. Karibu sana. Uh, thank you very much for this opportunity. Uh, I'm humbled actually to stand uh, before all of you, and I'll kindly request. Uh, Emily's boys to join me and any other staff that served under Emily. I've seen Victor, I've seen Sam and Nico kindly join me because I need that strength. It's not easy. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, DJ. At least, uh, praise the Lord. I, it's important I start by that, because that is what Sister taught us. And all of us have seen she was uh, very, very uh, keen in terms of who she chooses to work under her. Many of us, you can see, we can pull the tent up in terms of height. And those of us who are not that tall, they have something special that we might be able to know as we carry on. So uh, we are here to celebrate a sister and a loving boss, someone that has inspired a lot in us, somebody we have always looked upon in everything we do. Not only did we work under Emily as employees, 
but we used to see her as someone who will bind us together, inspire every move we make, and more, most of all, teach us on the right ways and important things to do that are needed in a working environment. So we are very pleased as much as we are mourning, we are here to celebrate our sister. Emily is someone uh, who was very simple, a good boss, but quietly firm. Most of us uh, actually uh, who worked with her could not uh, tell. For example, uh, suppose two of you are not talking to each other, Emily will use a very diplomatic way. Just call two of you in the office and tell you, I'm meeting you there. Then you go. Now you're not talking to each other, right? Uh, after a while, you'll not see her. Then you call. Of course, you will have that uh, uh, somehow connection that we need to call our boss. Then when you call her, one of you calls her, she says, I'm not around. I'm out of job. So uh, two of you are there. Yes, I've given you an assignment. Work together. I want results. I two hours. So you'll to each other, eventually. That is, uh, well, that is who Emily was. You'll end up talking to each other, and after which, all of you will be boys. You've heard the name boys. It had a meaning. It was equating all of us. To Emily, everybody was equal. And you are to respect your colleague as much as he respects you. Being the only lady in the department, she's someone we really looked upon. And uh, we believed she's going to inspire us. And yeah, okay. Of course, she did. She did inspire us. And as we can stand here, we are missing our lovely boss. And uh, on behalf of the boys, we just want to pray uh, for the strength of the family, the strength of friends, and moreover, the strength of us all as his boys in the department. Uh, most of us actually met Emily and. Uh, we had unique ways of starting uh, our tasks at Mudaiga Golf Club. Uh, my colleagues will tell you, for example, myself, I came in 11 years ago, I met her, and then I asked her, what am I going to do in this department? She told me, you're going to work, and you will just work. As I waited for further instructions, she had vanished to her office. And Sam is the one who guided me, the gentleman on my right, and Moses. And since then, I have learned that you work because, or rather you perform well because you believe in yourself. And you just wait for guidance and not being held a hand throughout. So that was our sister. Uh, when we heard Emily was retiring, that thing got us by surprise. And nobody among us was believing that our boss actually was leaving us. Uh, we tried to convince her to stay. We thought it was a joke. Uh, the her normal jokes that I'm going. But uh, around May, she informed Moses and I that you know from first, you will be there. When she says there, you know it's in the office. That is how she used to communicate. Uh, we could not believe until when we heard that our captain was organizing for a farewell party. And off she left. So we were left uh, as orphans, because now we didn't have a boss that we are used to. At least she could have given us a year in preparation. But now what hit us the most is us hearing that Emily is no more. Actually, most of us just heard that uh, she was admitted. And uh, when we were planning, in fact, Moses and I and my colleagues were playing golf. You know, Captain at times wants us to be good golfers as he is, because you might be thrown a question that you don't know how to answer. And in golf terms, we say you are decued. So uh, we heard about it. And when we were planning to come visit her, at that night, we had she's admitted in the ICU. Two hours later, we are told Emily is no more. Uh, we were so much griefed. The grief was overwhelming. We could not uh, stand the pain. But we thank God he has seen us through. We want to thank the family. They have really worked together with us as a department. Because uh, on behalf of our, cl our club, uh, more, more superior people will talk. Uh, we want really to thank Mom and Mr. Clifford for always being ready to receive us, uh, for always accepting uh, us being associated uh, in the burial plans, and updating us on the way forward. So I want just to encourage them. Our Lord is still strong and may his solace 
uh, be able to comfort you all. As I conclude, I want to assure you we'll still remain as a family. We will be together with you, we'll pray for you, and God is going to be together with us in us accepting that our boss is gone. Emily, rest in peace. We will always remember you as our sister. We'll always embrace your teachings. Your smile will remain ever in our hearts. And in all we do, we'll follow your advice and characteristic traits. May God bless you all. Thank you. Let us appreciate the boys. Those are Emily's boys. Uh, God bless you so much, uh, Clevis and your team, and uh, Moth and your team as well. Um, it is indeed true that uh, Emily had just taken uh, retirement, uh, retirement, and uh, from where I sit, I have served in the golf industry for for long. I mean, for I did serve for close to 20 years, and uh, uh, as I stand here, whatever else I do, I also associate myself with the clubs, and I have never seen, I have never seen in the history of, 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 of golf clubs in Kenya, someone being treated with a very big uh, party, a retirement party. And therefore, as we have rightfully said, uh, Emily was a magnet in herself, she was able to attract, she was able to stick, I mean, she was just an extraordinary person. And now that Emily is gone, we can only thank God as we celebrate her well-lived life. And now, uh, it's my great honor and pleasure to invite uh, our captain, uh, Muthaiga Golf Club, Captain Bob, Karibu Sana, my good brother, so that you can share the tribute uh, on your behalf and on the behalf of the members. Bwana Clifford, Teresa, Salma, Tunda. Indeed, the extended family, friends and colleagues. Sorrow fills our heart this sad moment. A sorrow that is deep and personal. Death has taken away a genuinely warm and loving person. And more importantly, a loving wife, mother and friend. Our lives will be empty in the areas that you've written for us. Albert Einstein once said, the value of a man should be seen in what he gives and not what, and not in what he is able to receive. In, word, in one word, Emily was a lady who gave. She gave so much to her work. She gave so much to her family. She gave so much to her friends. She gave so much to her colleagues. That is why, ladies and gentlemen, as we are gathered, say goodbye to her. I would like to say, was indeed living proof of how good a person can be. When a Clifford, Teresa, Salma, and Tunda, our hearts and prayers are with you at this moment. Kindly accept our deepest condolences, not only on behalf of myself and my family, but on behalf of the entire Motaga membership, staff and colleagues as Antony may have soul rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you, Captain. I I want to welcome our lady captain, Madam Lucy. Karibu Sana Lucy. God is good, and all the time, as the community that has worked with Emily, she was a dear lady, very, very patient, very firm, but very also very efficient. So we are going to miss her, and on behalf of all of us, I'll ask just Jane to come and read the tribute on behalf of the Kenya ladies, Gough, who are many, not just within Mothaiga, Emily has worked with a large fraternity of ladies in Gough. Thank you, Jane. Barizeno, uh, Kislamu Prasemaga Salam Aleikum, which means peace be with you. Mnajua Jibu Eyo, Salam Aleikum. Asanteni Sana. 
Mimi japokuwa ni Muislamu lakini niko hapa pamoja na nyinyi. Leo Emily amechuleta sisi wote pamoja because she is a wonderful person ya kuleta watu pamoja. Clifford niliongea na wewe uh, nilivyokuwa kwa sababu wote taongea kizungu mimi nitaongea Kiswahili. Kwa sababu nimesikia mchungaji hapa alikuwa anaongea Kiswahili mimi nitaongea Kiswahili. Emily ni mtu mmoja ambaye nikimwona mama pale namkumbuka Emily kwa sababu akismile mimi namuona Emily tu hapo. Kwa hivyo mama na wasichana wake mtaendeleza lengo la Emily ya kupatanisha watu. Leo sisi wote hapa tusingekuwa pamoja kama sio Emily. Naona watu wamejaa mpaka nje mpaka mafuriko hakuna hata mviti ya watu kukaa. Huyo ndio Emily. Hapa mkiona hii picha ya watu wote walioko hapa ni picha ya Emily. Emily ametuleta sisi wote pamoja. Mimi hata huku sijawahi kufika Ruai hata sijui ni wapi. Lakini leo nimetoka kule nimetoka lakini nimekuja kuwa nini hapa na ni Emily ametuleta hapa. Ndio inakuonesha mtu ambaye ambaye ni mtu wa watu analetaga watu pamoja. Leo tuko na chairman wa, wa, wa golf club yetu tuko na captain na tuko na lady captain pia wote wako hapa na lady captains wengine na board members na wafanyakazi umeona tumesimama hapa watu wa Mudhaiga sijawahi kuenda mimi niko member wa Mudhaiga kwa miaka kumi na moja sijawahi kuenda kwa mazishi ya mfanyakazi yoyote ambaye imeletwa amesindikizwa na kutoka juu mpaka chini kila mtu ambaye alikuwa amemjua Emily yuko hapa leo na nyinyi na inaonesha wanasemaga mtu akiondoka ndio mnasema uzuri wake lakini sisi uzuri wa Emily tulikuwa tumeujua wakati alivyokuwa na sisi mimi nilivyokuwa lady captain ilikuwa 2020 eh, ilikuwa 2015 Laka, lakini kabla hapo amefanya kazi na lady captains 17 ukija kama lady captain hakuna kitu unajua unakuja blank kama plain paper na wakati hizo ilikuwa hata hakuna kompyuta. Kwa hivyo Emily alikuwa anafanya draw, anatuonesha sponsors ya kupigia simu. Ukitaka kujua mtu gani ndio mzuri na mtu gani ndio mbaya, mtu gani usimu approach, Emily ndio anakuambia. Alikuwa anajua members wote wa Mthaiga. Yeye alikuwa kama encyclopedia. Si mnajua encyclopedia ni nini? Eh? Uh, ukitaka information yote about Mthaiga, unakwenda kwa Emily atakwambia mtu fulani ana namba yake iko hapa. Mtu fulani utampata hapa. Mtu fulani anakujaga siku fulani wa anajua habari ya kila mtu. Kwa hivyo Emily ni mtu mmoja ambaye alikuwa one of the best people I ever met. In the time that I was at Muthaika na Lady Captains ambaye wako hapa wote wanajua kuwa Emily ndio aliwashikilia namna hii kama alikuwa ni kizingiti. Si mnajua kizingiti ni nini? Alikuwa ni kizingiti ya kina mama Muthaika. Sote tutampoteza mtu lakini tunajua kwa tuna furaha tumekuja kumcelebrate hapa kwa sababu ni mtu ambaye alikuwa anapenda watu hasa ningeomba kwa kwa kwa, kwa utakatifu na hata kama mimi ni muislamu nina nyimbo ambayo nataka muni muniunge mkono na kuimba na mimi nasema asante nasema asante nasema asante ewe mungu wangu wewe ni alpha na omega wewe ni alpha na omega Let's appreciate her once again. And that was actually Emily for us. I want to tell you for 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 sure Emily is gone, but her legacy lives on. It will never die. Praise God. Amen. So we are so grateful, very much grateful for the entire membership of Mothaiga. And I want to welcome my good friend, uh, uh, the chairman of the club. <coughs> By the way, I want to tell you something. Uh, Kavit is my good friend. Now, Kiona, what you are really, Mazishi, a Christian. 
Ujue ni Mungu ameitana. Ujue ni Mungu ameitana. Ukiona Madam Jane akiwa hapa na ni Muislam. Na ukiwa kiona Kavit. Ujue Mungu ameita. That is Emily for you. My good sir, Kavit, karibu sana. Please you give us a tribute on behalf of the club. Asante sana Mungai. Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen. For the record, my name is Kavit Baku, chairman of Muthaiga Golf Club. Um, I first met Emily when I came back from university in 2001 when she was being interviewed. So it just goes to show how long I've known this amazing woman. Um, the family of the late Emily Wamocha, husband Clifford Mulamula, the daughters Triza, Salma and Tunda. Fondly knows the family of Emily Mama, fondly known as Coco, her brothers and sisters, her in-laws, her extended family, her neighbors, friends in church, her former colleagues, and mourners at large. As you all know, I'm a Kenyan at heart, born and bred in this country, but of Indian descent, but in religion as just... And she goes to me, Chairman, Hakuna Shida, your time is there. And I said, no, 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 Emily, I'm coming to ask you, don't go. And I said, she goes, no, Chairman, my time is up. I want to go, and I the end of Pumzika. So I said, no problem, but I said, I'm going to just ask you one question. Don't take it to heart. Are you sure you're not leaving us for another club? And she stood up, and she was about to slap me. And she goes, Chairman, where will I ever, ever find love anywhere else? So that, and with that, I just walked out of her office and said, you have all our support. She, she has diligently worked with many golf and course committees, lady captains and captains, as well as see several of remarkable Kenya Open events over the many years held at our club. And with that, we have no sufficient words to thank her for her dedication and stellar performance over and above her call of duty. One outstanding quality of Emily that I want to highlight today is that she was also a great mentor. As Clevis has said, she led a team of gentlemen who have ably taken up her role, and after she left, we have no doubt that her leg legacy will live on very positively. We were sadly received, sorry, when we sadly received the news of our dear Emily had rested on this month, earlier this month, the entire Muthaiga Golf Club family was thrown into mourning and disbelief. As evidenced in the many, in the many outpouring messages across the various groups by members in the club, as well as staff and friends of Emily, you can concur that she touched our lives in a very positive way and I hope we can all emulate her demeanor. Finally, so on behalf of the entire Muthaiga Golf Club fraternity, I wish to assure the family, friends, that we stand together with you in grief and continue to pray with the family, as grief is not a feeling, as it just goes away in a moment, but takes time, and we stand by you to the best of our ability. Saying goodbye is never easy, but we stand in strength knowing friendship transcends death. The memories we made with Emily will never be forgotten, and they have created a lasting impression on all those who have interacted behind. Everyone here today has become a better person because of Emily. Rest in peace, my sister. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Chair. I must admit that uh, when I used to work with Emily, maybe Patricia and the rest, possibly, they don't know. Emily was a, a very unique person, um, unlike me. You know, me, I don't know how to contain pressure. You know, when you see ladies coming, Jen, what are you going to do now that uh, I am having the opportunity of holding the mic? Dealing with the ladies section is never easy. It is never easy. And not only in Mothaiga, everywhere. Dealing with ladies, it's never easy. But Emily was just a unique person. She was able to hold the section together, walk and work together with you, and that was brilliant. At least, when you were working together, me, I could not contain pressure. Mimi namuambia, hii pressure, imekua mingi. Ananita, brother, brother, relax. So that is Emily for you. And she was able, actually, now to be that garden. She was able now to attract the butterflies. And when I see all of us here, I'm telling you, our heart melts because of the great things that Emily did and impacted 
in our lives. For now, ladies and gentlemen, um, when we were actually working with Emmy, she introduced me to the man. So easy because we 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 looked at life in a different way. And I believe until her demise, Emily was looking at life that way. When we used to call our mom here, we used to call her Sister Jane. So, <laughs> Mom, Paul, we were calling you by your name. We just uh, brought together Sister, and then we decided to put you in our group, and we were calling you Sister Jane. So, uh, my good brother, allow me now to invite Coco, uh, Sister Jane, please come and say something. Let's appreciate her. Those of us who don't know Mama Ke Emily. Karibu sana. watoto wa Emily. Na kwa ajili ya wakati nimeambiwa kwa niaba ya ndugu za Emily, Andis wa Emily, Kokos wa Emily, Cousins wa Emily, nitawa request tu msimame mfanye hivi na mkae. Tuwapigie makofi Naungea mengi kumuhusu Emily Vile ameishi na vile hamefanya kasi na vile hamelea Watu wengi hivo Langu ni kusema kwa mba tumekuja kujifuza Kwa mba nabiyo sikia mambo ya Emily wa Emily Emily amemaliza that is why she has rested Bwana asifiwe lakini sasa wewe na mimi hebu tuendelee na kasi Emily amewacha Nataka tushukuru Mungu kwa familia yake kwamba Mungu amewalinda na atawalinda ah. Kwa hivyo na Lakini koko mwenyewe ataongea saidi ya hapo Bwana asifiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe God is good God is good God is good God is goodness Bwana asifiwe Um Nashukuru Mungu Nilikuwa naishi huko Nairobi lakini nilienda Ushago. Na before I went to Ushago, niliuliza Mungu, Ushago sina sina kanisa. I don't know where I will go. Nikamwambia mwenyewe anionyeshe. Na nilipoenda nyumbani, alini direct kwa kanisa. Na nikaenda kwa kanisa na nikapata mchungaji anafundisha kuhusu damu ya ukoo 
na hiyo ndio nilikuwa kwa kanisa huku Nairobi ndio tulikuwa tunafundishwa sasa nilipoenda that first day yule mtungaji alikuwa anafundisha wakati huo ndio alikuwa huyu pastor Eric pastor Eric simama tu that is my son at home ah uh, is my pastor mke wake yuko wapi nasifiwe awa si saingine nakosa maneno ya kusema lakini nashukuru Mungu kwa kutishikanisha na hiyo familia kwa nasifiwe ninajua niko na watu wangu kutoka huko kitali wa kitale mnaweza kusimama au kuweza kuja wengi kuna wengine hapa Nairobi simameni na Mungu awabariki sana bwana asifiwe nashukuru tu wote members ya familia familia ya Cliff wametubeba na tunashukuru Mungu. Ah. Um, Saingine inakuwa ngumu kueleza. Emilia alikuwa unique. Bila nasikia Jesse Aksema. Emilia was just unique. Na Emilia alinipenda sana. Emilia alikuwa saile sasa nilienda nyumbani kamwacha hapa. Alikuwa akitoka kazini ananipigia simu. Akiingia tu gari ananipigia simu na tutaongea mpaka afike hapa. Aniambie oh mama nifungulie gate. Na iko siku moja every day kwa nasifiwe. I never missed her. Na nilijua alikuwa in safe hands huko Mzaiga. Kwa maana ile alikuwa ananiambia juu ya her boys na wote ambao walikuwa captains lady captains na eh, na, na au wengine so nilijua hata kazini alikuwa pale pazuri na Emily vile nasema alikuwa unique hakuwa mtu wa maneno mengi na hakutaka kukosana na mtu yeyote wakati wote alikuwa ananiambia ma Unajua hapa chini tuko tuna muda mfupi. So ukianza kukosana na watu, unajua we mwenyewe ndio unajiharibia. Na ungekuwa na kitu unaona inakusumbua kama sisi wa mama sasa tuko huko nyumbani. Eh kwanza nilipoenda sasa huko Nairobi tumezoea, tulikuwa tumezoea timing. Yaani kuwa pacho. Na biana tutakutana pale fulani saa fulani naenda nafika hapo na kaa hakuna mtu yani wanakuja even one hour later uh, so when i told her she told me mom you have to adjust eh eh usha go is not nairobi and therefore adjust na hiyo ipati yangu kuna wakati nilikuwa niliumia mkono hapa nilikuwa na paswa kuni wale wanajua kupasua kuni. Shoka yangu ilikuwa mzito sana. So nikienda kupasua hivi kuni ya mwisho nikakatalia kwa shoka. Nikaona jiwe iko hapo, nikasema niende nigonge kwa hiyo jiwe ndio kuni waachane. Bila niligonga tu hivi, kijiti likitoka huko na kuingia kwa mkono. Nikaambia shetani we mwongo. Unataka kuni, ulitaka kuniangamiza? nilichomoa kijiti na nikaambia shetani umeshindwa ulishindwa msalabani na utaendelea kushindwa kila pahali sio mimi hii si, si mwili yangu hii ni hekalu ya roho mtakatifu umeshindwa because i was holding ndio damu isimwakiketa so nashukuru Mungu so nilikaa unajua sasa kama umeumia kama kona kana hapa hivi Aya, wenzangu wananiambia si uchome mafanya maji moto uchoma chome. Nikamwambia akaniambia, "Eh mama, 
you want to help God. You are born a rap. <laughs> when I was feeling that was a mini. I couldn't get it in Musumbua. As a Kazini, I took a Uka and be a leo, ma. Hey, pretty boy. But you are the same, I can't Mungu, Nikonanguvu, at the Kishan Arundi Uko. So, what year did you have Last year did you have at the end of next year, Sidan come and talk about Kazini ten and Nataka Kutoka. What is it? Ah, we have to come here, Kayaka Kasema. Well, you will find your cousin Paco Kazeka. Maybe this is a key can Kazini. Maybe not a new banner if you find your Mamboya. So, uh, in March, and I'm going to be Piana Barua. Yeah, I did return in Nayenda Yuban. Come up here, sir. See you, you may be on a day of Zur. Sasa, let's put Mongo Mongo Nimuema. Kwa maana yeye alikuwa ame na uhusiano mwema na Mungu. Na kumbuka 2017 alipokuwa ICU for one full month. Alipotoka akaniambia mama ni nilikuwa ni, ni, ni na ahadi na Mungu. Nikamwambia Mungu kiponya kuna kitu sasa akuniambia ni nini atafanya. So Tukakami karudi nyumbani, akaya rudi kazini. After some time, akaniambia mao, na shukuru mungu sana, amenisaidia, nimefanya kile nilimuaidi. Na kutoka wakati uo, Emily kweli alibadilika. Emily hakutaka, ma, yani kukosana na anybody. Na mina shukuru mungu, alinipatia na fasi ya kukaa na Emily. Ashkuru Mungu uh, brothers wa Daiga na sisters mmekaa na mtoto wangu vizuri alikuwa anaongea tu mema kuhusu Mudaiga Mudaiga was a home after all nyumbani alikuwa anga tu a few hours kesho yake ameamkia Mudaiga bwana asifiwe Mungu ni mwema kwa kunipatia mimi nikae naye miaka hiyo yote akufanya makosa naomba nisaidie na mimi nijifunze kile yeye alikuwa anasema ama anafanya yeye alimaliza nini kazi yake na akaenda nakumbuka uh, siku hiyo alikuwa admitted was a sunday so jioni my son job ananiambia every day is admitted in the hospital nasema oh Sao. So, nikafikia mme wake simu kwa mana walikuwa hospitali. Kumfikia simu wakuchukua. Nikarudi nikafika tena. Nakachukua wakaniambia, Koko, pole. You know they called me Koko. Kwa zazi na watoto wote wananiita Koko. So, mimi, nika... Saide mme wake alichukua simu. Akaniambia, pole Koko. Ili, nilikuwa nafanya kitu na sasa ni sawa wacha nikupatie ongee na it's like alikuwa anataka kumpatia simu yake lakini mwenyewe akasema wacha mimi mwenyewe nimuite so akanipigia simu sasa kusema badala ya sema koko ati koko yani joking ni koko eh uko sawa akasema eh Akasema mimi niko hapa hospitali. Shida tu nikupumua. Lakini niko mzuri, niko mzima tu niko sawa. Niko sawa, niko hapa na Yesu wangu. Ninapumzika tu, ninapoa. Akarudia, mimi mzima niko sawa. Niko hapa na Yesu wangu ninapumzika. Ah, uh, hayo maneno yalinipa nguvu. Kwa maana nilikuwa nimeona kweli Afya yake haikuenda hivi bila alitoka hospitali. Aliendelea kwenda hivi, kwenda chini. So aliponiambia yuko sawa na yuko na Yesu, nikasema tu Mungu wewe ni mwema. Alijiandalia mwenye alijua ni wapi anaenda. Sasa mimi nikasema tu ni sawa. Kwa vile alikuwa kwa oksijeni nikajiambia nitaendelea kuongea naye na mtu anaumia. Wacha nyamaze kesho wataniambia. So kesho yake huko nyumbani kwa kanisa yetu 
tulikuwa tume tumepoteza mpendwa so to, man, it was mandi tumeenda kuchukua mwili tumeleta nyumbani kwake so, si service na kuanga ya mahubiri si lazima itakuwa sasa so, after that naelekea kitu saa kumi hivi ikasema ah nasijaangalia simu kwa maana hao watu wanaweza kuwa wamenitafuta kuangalia simu nilipata tu message kutoka kwa simu yake neno moja tu bye and i said thank you god na saa hiyo ni kama anakuwa confused kwa maana huko nyumbani E, mungu alilipatia kibali kuongoza wa mama kanisani sasa wananiitanga mama kanisa wengine waniite mama church bwana asifiwe sasa pasta asimame mambo bili imeisha mimi unajua sasa niko confused bye neno moja ninajiuliza ni nani alienda hospitali kwa maana nimeongea na mume wake bado yuko hospitali anatoa damu na hiyo ilikuwa Narudi hospital. Na yeye yuko hapa Ruai family hospital. Sasa niulize, nijiulize ni nani anaweza kuwa ameenda huko? Akachukua simu ya Emily anitumie message kama hii. Na saa hiyo pasta wangu, pasta Eric, ananiita. Okay, ni mwemwangalia lakini simuoni. Ameniita ananiambia, "Mama kanisa kuja ongea juu ya msichana wako. Msichana sasa yule alikuwa amelala." Si ndio? Mimi hata sijui ni nini nilisema but <laughs> anyway ilipita hivyo. Lakini nashukuru Mungu. Tuishi na watu vizuri. Mimi nimekuwa hapa hii muda mfupi. Nimeona kijana wangu Cliff. May God bless you. Nimeona marafiki zake. Nimeona pastors wengine wa yani marafiki zake. Yani you people May God bless you. Mungu awabariki tu. Yaani hatukukuwa na nafasi ya ku, kuanza kufikiria ambapo kufanye nini. Kwa maana all the time they are here from morning till evening. Na hata wanaenda tu saa tatu usiku. Sasa hiyo wewe umejoka utalala hapo utaanza kufikiria. So I thank God. What ambao umekanyaga hapa? May God bless you. May God bless you. Uh, ni nilisahau my sister Mary kutoka kwa kanisa nyumbani Mary Stana nilipoenda kwa hiyo kanisa so unajua sasa wewe ni mgeni umepewa cheo na hata ujui ufanye nini ujui mkono tukiambwa na pastor muende pale fulani muende muangalie wewe mshirika fulani hakuja kanisani muende Mary alikuwa ananishika tu hivi tunaenda bwana asifiwe Mungu ni mwema Wacha tuendelee tuna hiyo upendo Na atuko hapa forever Haleluya Atuko hapa forever Nikujia kiandaa Kujiandaa kama mtampokea Kristo kama mwokozi wako. Maana sasa mimi nimesimama tu. Mnaniona nikianguka chini. Najua kama huko kwetu watu wanaanga mpaka hata saa ingine anataka kujiingiza kwa hiyo shimo. Lakini mimi Mungu nashukuru Mungu. Maombi yenu imenisimamisha. Mungu awabariki sana. Amen. Mungu awabariki. Amen. Mambe tuimbe yu bimbo kidogo Hai Tupe volume
Thank you so much. Salimia jirani yako umwambie leo ni siku ya emli. Na tumeimbiwa cha kutumaini sina. Tumeimbiwaje? DJ una hiyo wimbo? Uiweke kwa sababu ya dada yangu. Kwa kuimba cha kutumaini sina. You are the first person. Explain it to me to hear a Muslim singing Chakutumaini Ah, mbigieni makofi Mwenye wivu wa jinyonge Sio ni sawa Ebu tumweke wimbo kidogo Sema asanti Tupe yu asanti but it's a Christian song, that is what I'm saying. Don't argue. I'm saying she's a, she's not a Christian. DJ, DJ, DJ. Nasema, mimi ni mefraya kuona dada yangu, a Muslim, singing, and make me feeling like I'm in heaven. Hallelujah. There is something good that you receive when someone is singing. There is things that you can touch, you can receive in the spiritual realm. It depends with the formula and the angle that you will be. Hallelujah. So, what she has done it, I like it. Utapata soda kutoka kwangu. Asanti. Ninaulizwa namba ya treasure wetu. Namba ya treasure wetu ni Muslim. Praise the name of the Lord. We have been here with uh, Hudson Kula. Kutoka siku ile tulianza hadi leo. Huyu kijana hajawahi choka. He has been so kind to us. He has been there for us all the time. When you come here you are received well. Unajua mimi natoka wapi? I always I was actually driving all the way from Kiambu to here every day. Natoka hapa nine. Because Cliff and Emily were our family. Praise the Lord. That is the compassion that you can show this family. Hiyo tu ndio ile unaweza onesha familia gani? Hii. Hakuna kitu kingine. Si kutuma pesa ukiwa huko. Hapana. Come and stand with the family. Amen. And you feel what the family is going through. And you comfort them that particular moment. Because this tent might move to a place. Hallelujah. Hakuna mtu anajua hii itatoka hapa ienda wapi inaweza kuja kwetu ama kwenu. Kwa hivyo wakati unaona hema kama hii kimbia mbio. Kimbia nini? Kimbia mbio. Na ndio maana nilianza na kusema program tuna stick kwa program. Because you see those people were not present that time. They don't know what we have gone through. To all force. Si ni kweli? So ninaulizwa namba ya treasure wetu. 
na wale wote wameuliza nataka kuisoma kwa njia ya upole ni 0726 Nezo na treasure wetu Mazishi itaisha Familia itaisha Ule mtoto wetu mdongo tunaye mwenye na join form 1 Sia taingia shuwe Every good deed Thank you all for coming. May she rest in peace. Amen. We can't hold away. Everyone, my uh, name is First of all, I'll say thanks for being here. Uh, Thank you for your support. Uh, what I read is as encouragement thing. Uh, it is in the program. It says death is not extinguishing of light, but a transition of a soul, leaving behind legacies that continue to illuminate our lives. Also. My sister, I was the first one to see her for was very heartening. But from what I've seen, she has left a legacy. Since every time I was going to meet her at a work, I've met her at a workplace. One of the former lady company. By the name of I've seen what my sister has left behind. Because in this one, I believe you're not judged by what you've done, but what you leave behind in people's heart. So, I'll just say thank you for all, and let us ponder on what we leave behind when our time has come. Thank you. Thank you. Sometimes it's good to give a family an opportunity to speak their heart so that they can become okay and strong. So, Nikona, husband and children have something to say for just a minute because of time. Children and husband, they can come and just say something. Watoto wa Cliff kujeni wa seme na sisi kwa dakika moja Kuachalia ya mama Na mufu ya upofu Na nichukua sisone Ne makubwa ni Bwana sikuwe? Bwana sikuwe tani? Ime Majina na ipa mula mula, Clifford, na bina husband to Emily. I think this is the first time I've seen people in this place for about 23 years. I thank God. I think we have very few visitors because of my wife. Most people, all my friends don't know my wife. And even they don't know me. Even those who work in my life. Because we keep our family life out. 
our workplace, what we do. But as if we, but there's something I want to say. I want to thank God the first thing for this opportunity. It is a long time. But as if we, I think my wife will never allow me to talk much. I use Kubali. I could talk about introductions. She refused me to introduce her to most of my friends. But if you come to this house, you'll have an opportunity to have a nice time. So, nilikuwa na imiza marafiki zangu. Shumukuja buwone uu mama tiza. Anasema kesho. Kesho. Lakini kesho imekuwa le? Leo. But we thank God for everything. Banasifuye. So, God has blessed us with three children. Na tumetosheka hivyo. Sema ime? Amen. Ile stress nilisikia Jesse anasema. Anasema ka nini? Ladies. Mi inaijua. Wala sivu. And they have shaped me to be patient. Wala wamekua na mi wanaona. And I thank God. Wala sivu. Let me appreciate my primary. We started in standard one. To Kisoma. More than 40 years left, we are still friends. The ill family to to na pen dawat. Kuja pa legend. Wana sikuwe. Who to listen man air primary? For many years. Natunaka of witness in Kwele. And we are age mates. Salimiwa. Bona sifiwe. Amen. Sifiwe tena. Amen. Yependa kumshukuru mungu sana na it has taken over 40 years kuja hapa but I thank God for the gift of friendship and uh, you treasure friendship you can imagine from Sanadi 1 until now we've gone different places in the world but still have come together and we still unite as one and uh, when we, I connected with Clifford, he connected me to my standard one teacher and uh, connected me to so many other uh, people. He's such a connector and a man of God and I'm also a woman of God and uh, I'm humbled to be here and to see such a lovely family. God bless you and we are to stand with you and we continue to run the rest together. Amen. Amen. Can you pick up my coffee? I want to appreciate again Hudson. He is a Muslim and he has chaired all this meeting for God's glory. So I really thank God for him. Let me appreciate him personally. Let us go beyond the normal things we have. When they beyond, and I want to thank God specifically the mosaic. My wife talks well of you. Miss Jawayana Mongea Ubayam. And this is what we teach our children. We teach them the positive part of people. Not the negative part of people. Because this is Africa, Unagonga Gate, Anasema, Kuna Mutu Mingina, Mevama, Chain Avi, Anagonga Gate, Nani the Uncle. So, let us teach our children the right thing. And that is what I tell my children. I speak to them the truth. Miss you have come on in by and that's what their mother has taught me. And I hope what I follow you. So before they speak, when we moved in Kiambu, when a mama and pana when they were very young in 2000, when I've lived in Kiambu for a longer time with them, their mother. I think it's Mama Karo. I've seen her behind there. Mama Karo, when do you leave our talk? Let me appreciate her because. Begin, Mama Karo, my coffee. I'm a people for a long time. When the, my wife was busy working, the end of her busy, I keep I keep Thank you, Mama Karo. So let me thank everyone in Kenya and outside. Kenya, those who have really supported us. I think in my life, let me say, I'm so devastated.
but I thank God that through you coming, I have been strengthened. So let me say thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you again. Mungu, especially the Mudaika family, may God himself remember you. And everyone who has come, God should do you well. Because you have done us well. So what is your guess, Anna? Because my wife and Kata, in the Isa, what we are going to be here. Mula Mula. What is your story? And I respected my wife. At the time when I came to the retirement, I was going to be the following day. I loved my wife, my wife Sana. I said, I need to say more. Let me speak. I need to say more. Now that I see me in a church, I go back home. And that is how we live. And that is how we live. That in Ita Katkati and Kutano and Pana Torok. And you can notice, ask my friend, I'm like a, a ghost. I'm there and I'm not there. Amen. my firstborn and I got Jesus. God, I'm to say, you Catholic University. We encourage our children to read. Now, I did it. a policeman. stress. So, thank God, our party stress. I love to manage. Hi again. Hi. Um, thank you for coming and thank you for supporting us. I used to call my mom, Mama. Um, I loved my mom and she was my anchor, Nanta Miss. And I can't fill her shoes as the first one, but I can do my best. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you for coming. I miss you. Place where she will not get more sickness. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Touch me, touch my life, touch my soul. Spirit of the Lord, touch me, touch my life, touch my soul. Touch my business, touch my life, touch my heart, touch my soul. Touch my business, touch my life, touch my heart, touch my soul. Touch my... Thank you. That spirit of the Lord may touch you and enter in your heart. Zero seven two six. Nine one two zero seven six. Isawa family ina pozungumza na mna hiyo wa mepona. Ona po waona, wakiwaona, mukiwaona. Tell them something. Encourage them. 
the husband now has all the responsibilities. Now we need to pray for the family, we keep praying for them. Nitaita kwaya. Kwaya itupe wimbo moja kwa hapa nafasi. Hili tunapo tukiwapa wimbo huo tuweze kupe ya wa offerings. Sema offerings zetu za siku ya leo. We are giving to us uh, Tunda Education. Is that okay? Tuko sawa? Watu wa tuko sawa? Zile tutakuwa leo we will give towards to endelea na endelea na ku na kuendelea na kuongezea hii ratiba yangu ya siku ya leo kwa hivyo mtaniuria radhi kidogo nikiendelea na kuongeza mambo hapa tafadhali nitawaomba nilie radhi kidogo si ndio leo ni siku ya mbili ninaitishwa namba ya simu hiyo ndio tutatumia tu kutoa hizo offering na kila kitu yako 0726 0726 0726 0726920076 Sisi ni wangwana we do carry our money and our offerings through our funds Sisi ni wangwana si ndio Sisi ni wangwana 0726912076 Na kwa hapo Madiza niko na Catholic University wanaosoma na Tiza pia watakuja hapa na tutaweza kumalizia na wao na pia wale walisoma pamoja na Emory High School. Romanize wako hapa pia nitawauliza wasemame to do their radhi kidogo tafadhali tunawaomba. Kesho hatutakuja hapa. Kesho tutaenda maharusi zenu. So kwaya. Wana hu sehemu yangu 
Haya, nataka uh, this time and I with us I know we've had a session for Motaira uh, through the chair and the lady captain and the captain but I'm greatly humbled to note uh, at a number of I'm a little late uh, they actually served with Emily um, I want to recognize uh, the presence of uh, uh, Henry Jaroge, please, if you can wave to the crowd kindly. Amka, amka, amka. past chairman, Sana, the prince of uh, my good friend, Mr. Philip Karibu Dubuyangu. Uh, Emily also served in throughout uh, his captaincy and of course I want to recognize uh, Madam Justice just uh, just with the crown uh, I know Emily also served with you Asante Sana thank you thank you thank you so much uh, there is someone else Moses help me Ah, Rosemary Cook, uh, Karibu Sana, Madam, Past Lady Captain, Asante Sana, Madam Rosemary, Asante Sana. I know we had Dr. Machari Rongo somewhere. Uh, maybe, I'm not sure whether he's here, but well, I, we were with him, possibly because of Call of Duty. He must have left. Have I left someone else, Moses? Very good. Asante Sana, we'll keep on uh, fellowshipping together uh, as we give our dear girl a uh, 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 befitting center. Our team from uh, Catholic University, I think. What do you want to turn the layer? So, I am. Uh, my, my good brother here is reminding me that I never mentioned my name. My name is Jesse Mungai. I am a good friend to this family and I worked with Emily for so long uh, and even as we we usher in the church I want to encourage all of us my good brother Clifford together with Sissi. Uh, uh, we are very much uh, happy that God gave us Emily for those number of years. And as I said, her legacy, her legacy will live 
live, live on. God bless you. I now hand over to uh, my good brother, Reverend, so that now we can usher in the church, please, in the interest of time, so that we are able to finish our service in, in good time. Thank you. Hi, my name is Dr. Steve Waikwaini. My name is Dr. Steve Waikwaini. Waikwaini Foundation, that is where I come from. My work is to support poor children. That is my work in elderly. And I come from Kiambu. And we lived with uh, Cliff in Kiambu for many years. Uh, when the first born was uh, one year old. So we have been uh, friends. Me and my family and his family, we have been uh, together for a long time. And even now, we shall continue working together and being together like brothers and supporting each other where we can. And we believe our mighty Father will bless us with many blessings. Ah, bado. Ah, namnagani. Ebu tu kama kidogo. Toke boga me hani ni ugo igwe wega. Ne tukari yeke do komo no. Aye. Tumoge kizuko mingi sana hapa namnagani. Aye. Na sema tu simame kwa migu. Eh? Eh, sada wangu atoka wapi? Tuweke hiyo ni pepe kisha moja. ni wakati mwingine wa kwenda kusikia kutoka kwa Mungu na ningependa tu tuombe kwa ajili ya neno na tumpokea askofu ili aweze kuendelea Mwenyezi Mungu ni asante kwa vipindi ambao zimeita ni wakati umefika ili ukanene na kila mmoja wetu mfalme ukamtumia mtumishi wako kama jinsi umekusudia kwa ajili ya kila nafsi mala hapa na ni kwa Yesu Kristo tunaomba Amina Karibu mbisho um, Dambuni Ute. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is uh, Bishop Dr. Nathan Chesoli, a bishop in Kenya and maybe across the country, outside the country, and also work with the judiciary of Kenya. This afternoon, I'm so humbled. Nimezika watu wengi, lakini sijawai zika rafiki ambao wamekua karibu Cliff na mkewake na wafamilia yote ni marafiki zangu wa muda mrefu na ilibidi ni lazima tu nije hapa ili niwe pamoja nao mengi yamesemwa kuhusu Emily mimi nataka kusema neno moja tu kwamba she was a wise woman a wise woman na nimefurahishwa na all segments ambazo watu wamesema hapa ni wote maneno hayo ni mazuri maneno makubwa ambayo ningetamani kila mmoja wetu atengeneze tu maisha yake yawe yale maneno tumeyasikia hapa yote ikiwa siku yako imefika 
na leo pia nimefurahi nimekuwa kama zishi mengi lakini sijasikia ndugu zetu wa Islam wakiimba na nauliza chama cha group haita wa kwaya how do you what do you say for sure she's good right and uh, i know mudaiga people you are enjoying right thank you so much and god bless you so much i'll be very brief like a minisket and very relevant to cover the content because i know of you so right anything lakini nimesema kwamba sitahubiri muda mrefu nitachukua 3 hours peke yake kwa sababu mara nyingi wanachukua masaa kama 12 kwa mtu mzuri kama huyu kwa nini tu ana haraka but uh, let me read a scripture Psalms uh, chapter number 90 and verse 12 I read from different versions then uh, I explain something then we finish this uh, program verse number 12 says oh teach us to live well teach us to live well the king james says teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom at such like a time i always ask a question which i attach 10000 kenya shillings i don't know whether i should ask a question for 10000 can somebody be ready to answer why do people die anybody for 10000 one eh eh when i okay scare pesa my dear that's the only way to god's kingdom that's the only way to get god's kingdom really unasikia wanasema no sio mimi okay that is not, that's relevant any other 10000 oh justice Our justice at October 10th kumi yangu jamani Mungu eh yani sitakiyo eh watu wana aja dunia kwa sababu ya dhambi kweli kwa hivyo unafikiria justice unafikiria Emily ametenda dhambi yake kuku na wale watoto wadogo wanakufa ametenda dhambi gani eh lakini amejaribu hivyo ndio tumefunzwa sio ehe mwingine wa mwisho yani 10000 amtaki na wanaume nao wako wapi mnaogopa <laughs> yes mommy it is god's plan that we die it's god's plan yes. because he the will of god prepare place for us <laughs> ah. you think it's the will of god for emily to leave her children before they finish school acha anapenda yeah. anapenda watu wazuri yeah. oh kwa hivyo nyinyi wote ni wabaya lazima muokoke leo <laughs> sio mimi sinyi ndio mnasema na i will explain something before i tell you why people die but as we live in this world sometimes because of where we come from and what we do because of our professions sometimes we tend to live for ourselves and many times we become so full of ourselves mtu anafikiria hii dunia ni yake akikuangalia na kuangalia ni kama wewe ni kitu kidogo ni kama odede yani kuona tu kama mtu wewe na mrefu kwa sababu anakupima tu bila nakuona anaona nywele yako kina dada na anaona ile yake anasema hii imekaa kwa kichwa miezi mitatu anaona nguo na anaona herini na kuangalia anasema huyu kama ako too much ni 1200 wewe bado ya ufai you know we are living in a society where people have wrong judgments 
The Bible says, teach us how to number our days so we can live well, so we can have the hearts of wisdom. Let me explain a bit wisdom. Wisdom, wisdom simply means the quality of judgment. That somebody can make a very judgment over an issue. Yani mtu anaweza kufanya uamuzi mzuri kwa ajili ya jambo fulani. Unajua kuna watu wengi ambao ufanya uamuzi mbaya tu. Akikuwa na bila umevaa, anakupima na kuweka mahali pale. Unaona? Na yeye anafikiri kwamba yeye kwa sababu ana kitu fulani, yeye ni zaidi. Hasa sisi wengine my learned friends wanawaambia Sio wako ngapi wako hapa? Nanga yo lugha. Hebu you know me call my land friends in church or oh, wako hapa. Eh hey, hey, see that. You know as we always challenge people from what they say and we want to make you look so small. The language we use we, we used to use when I was young. I put it to you. In other words I'm making you look so small. Huh? Or I'm intimidating. Nikufanya mpaka uchanganyikiwe. I love you, you see, go and think well. Or go back to school. You see, we are betrayed to believe that we are much better than anyone else. But let me tell you something. This life we are living is not ours. Nobody applied to be created. We just found ourselves in this country. Like you know, what we Na shukuru sana kwa sababu ya mazisha haya na kukubali kuja kumkuomboleza mmoja na Cliff. Kwa sababu hapa kumekuja makabila mbali mbali. Kuna Wahindi nimeona, kuna Waislamu, kuna Wakikuyu, kuna Waluya, kuna waja, unasikia hapa. And this is what God wants us to be. Lakini kuna watu ambao hata matanga mengine nimeenda wanachapa tu lugha yao hawajui kwamba kuna mtu mwingine. Hawajui kwamba Muhindi hapa kamita askii vitu kwa hiyo. Na yeye unasema Amero hadi ka. Anisho une. Ah ah. Ndugu. Hiyo mchezo ambayo mmetoa kwa siasa msileto makanisani. Kama watu mnafuatana na watu mkigombana kule nje, hebu angalie mwenzako. Sasa nyinyi ambao wa Kenya bwana viwe. Wa Kenya haleluya. Hapa <laughs> sasa unajua wale wanafanya tunagombana mara nyingi hawako hapa wako wapi lakini siku ikifika unasikia mkenya amechukua fimbo mawe anasikia maisha ambayo unacheza nayo si yako ni ya mwenyewe wisdom simply means being able to apply life facts or the knowledge you have about life being able to apply what God has given you in a correct manner. The eyes. Macho hukupewa ili ukate ukifinya watu na maneno machafu ati kuna watu wakikuangalia na macho hivi unatoka tu naenda. Haukupewa macho kutesa watu. Ye? Kuna watu ambao hawajui kwamba Mungu ameupatia hii vitu vyote ulivyo navyo kwa sababu ya kubariki wenzao. Wao wanatumia ili kujinufaisha by the way i know there are so many of us here who are so proud of ourselves this is so good but also you must know that your life is not yours there are people who cannot live with others no yani hawezi na kuna watu ambao lazima watu wagombane tu yani wakifika mahali lazima walete fujo i don't know what happened yani lazima aongee kavumi hata vile tumekuja kwa kwa mazisha Jirini nzuri. Hii huyo MC, ah huyo bishop naye walitoa hapi. Hii atakuwa anaongea pande ni nini? Hao ndio wanakula za watu. Na sasa hata unijui. Hao hata ndio wanaharibu serikali ndio wamekula kila kitu. <laughs> na unajua mimi mimi nimekuja tu kuhubiri. Mwingine anakuona tu anasema na huyo ndasa amevaa nguo ya blue ametokea watu. Matanga ni black. Nani aliwaambia lazima matanga iwe black? And you see, it is always good to be careful with your life. Very, very, very careful. 
like today, you know, I didn't know. I'm not just burying uh, uh, my brother's wife. Kumbe ni na zika mtoto wangu. Mama yake huyu. Mama si mama tu. Kumbe babu yangu unajua sisi huko watu kwetu wakikua ya mnanga hiyo. Kwetu hani babu wa babu wa babu ni kasi ni kasi ni kasi. <laughs> Lakini huyo, huyo siyo hiyo. Huyo ni mstana ya natembea. Natembea. So, babu yangu wakusa mama walikuwa watano. Ye mmoja ni kuye fuye. Lakini alibatika kwa umislamu. Mini kawa umislamu kidogo lakini kawacha. Ilikuwa na hitu wa hidi. Mama alikuwa hitu wa ma, ma, kukua alikuwa na hitu wa mwana hidi. Lakini nilikuwa naomba uithi bila ya mini situ wa niraji niliwacha. Hata mina juu vilo meimba yu imbo seuri yako. Sasa huyu ninafika hapo. When I go there kwa mbogu pale ninaongea na huyu na wana wanaingia na nduku yake suya kwa hapo. Ali uwina, kwa hizo kuhono uyu. Ali umana uwina, amali. Sasa kumbe ni mekujo kuzika, hii matanga ni ajamu. Rafiki, tena mtuotu. Sasa mimi ndio nimeumia sana, hata karibu niyamie eh, cliff kwa mba misu yesu kukubiri kwa hiyo matanga. How can I go and buy my own daughter? But I thank God because when you live well with people, you are not just living for yourself, you are living for others. If cliff would be a, a rogue fella, kama angekuwa mtu mbaya labda singekutana kumbe na nimekuwa naye miaka mingi nimekuja kwa nyumba kumbe na mahari nafikiria tutaongea tukimaliza tutakutana nyuma ya tent your life is not yours somebody ambia mtu maisha si yako ni ya mwenyewe siku moja babangu akani waje niseme hivi niwaambie kwa nini watu wanakufa alafu twende babangu tulikaa na yeye akaniambia Unaona hiyo mama yako mamangu alikuwa ndio Diana. Mtoto wa kuye fe. Alikuwa mweupe kuliko huyu mama kidogo. Akaniuliza, unaona hiyo mama? Nikasema eh. Watu walikuwa wengi wanamtaka na nakuambia nilitumia nguvu kumpata. Alikuwa kama nyanya. Na yule mtu anaongea kama nyanya kama isha hata hakuna kitu. Mimi <laughs> <laughs> You may be very arrogant because of how you look. Six pack. So na juanga hizi. Figa hii ingino maitua nini? Figa hii. Ni sawa saa hitu kwa sasa. Tunakuombea mungu wa kupatia. Kanyaka tu 50, 55, 70. Vitu yu wa inaenda kwa ina pole pole. Hata ujuzi nitoka. Ukiuliza uvi vila alikuwa. Walio mwona uvi akio msa. Ulikuwa aje? When I was at the university, I was a six-pack. I was in America, I was in the country, and I was like, what is in this one? But I was like, I've learned one thing. I don't want to offend anybody. And I have no, I have no enemy. Right from where I was born, to where I have worked, I have no enemy. Why? Because my life belongs to the owner. Yeah. Si yangu. Si yuku inakuja. By the way, hakuna mtu ataipuka hii. Iwe dadangu Jen, the captain, ama awe kabiti, ama awe wila ya pala meungea. Sisi wote, hata huyu mungai, ili kujianda hatu tunajianda. So najua vile huyu tumesema she sleeping, rest in peace. Si hata leo jiono unaenda ku rest. So unalala kidogo. Alafu kwa neema ya Mungu naamka. Yaani unafanya mazoezi. Ande wazungu nasema eh, practice makes perfect. Sasa siku moja itakuwa perfected. <laughs> Be careful. Oh god. Well. You know let, let me read the last scripture. <clears throat> you know I really qualify to talk to you. Because I've been here long enough in this in this world, and I have a lot of experience. Now, maybe you see a pastor na umba alafu na sema tuma be oh panda be tinga mwetu chungaji kama ukwapa unafanya panda be unawuzi ya mama na mama nini ni mwa pata kwa matanga ni mwa mama amwe ni makansani muna tuma kwa kama futa kado kwa vimuto vimuto kariobangi elfu moja na kwa matanga kwa kuchinga tazamsi ni watu watu sadaka. How 
watu wanafanya profit imetoka wapi? Wapendwa ningeuliza mchungaji Cliff nikuja na mafuta pia niombe hapa kila mtu ningetoka hapa na milioni ya mapesa. Wachungaji let's be very careful. Treat this with a lot of care. Because one day the Bible says we shall give an account. Nikisema hapo wachungaji wanasema oh huyo mtu anatuingilia kwa sababu hapo na pesa. Mimi niko na pesa na kwa sababu nilisoma. Ndio. <laughs> I'm among the few people who have gone to school very well. Unaona? Na siringi. I'm among the few who have a lot of money. Na siringi. Labda wahindi tu lakini like, hata muhindi labda unifipe vizuri. Because let me tell you. The thing is <laughs> Unajua huko alikisema hivi utasikia watu wamepanga laini hapa. Mimi si mwanasiasa. Kwa ugojeni mwa MCA. <laughs> Yangu haiwezi hivyo. Yangu inaenda vizuri kwa njia nzuri. Yangu naenda kuhubiri hii wiki inayokuja naenda kungoma kwa mkutano. Alafu ile ingine narudi huko kwa Yesu wa Tongareni. Jerusalem. Watu wa Yerusalem bwana sifiwe. Ninakuja kumsaidia nataka kunyoa huyo Yesu wa Tongareni ndefu. Na ajabu ni jirani yangu. <laughs> Romans oh 14. Are we together? Mm. Wonderful. Now I want to answer a question why Paul died. Verse 7 and 8. The Bible says for none of us lives to himself. Uh-huh. And no man dies to himself. Hapo hakuna dambi. Hakuna kitu. Watu wanasema watu wanakufa na kwa dadambi. Tumezika hata wachungaji. Last week watu wangu tulizika mzee Kaiyo. Kwani alikuwa na dambi gani? Maisha ni ya mwenyewe bana. Uwe mzuri, by the way shida ni hii. Uwe mzuri uwe mbaya utakufa. Kwetu kumekuwa na mchawi ameoroga watu mpaka alikuwa anasema hautaishi na mtu aishi. Hii? Watu alikuwa ametisha hata kwa boma yake aende huko. Siku moja nikasikia ho Mzee Marengeha amekufa. Mimi nilitoka Nairobi nikatafuta nafasi. Na Nikakimia watu waingie huko mimi niingie huko nyumba kwa boma ya Marengeha. Kaona pale nikasema ndio huyo ni huyo. Eh. Hey, wonderful. Nikatoka. Kumbe pia anakufa. Wazuri na wabaya. Sawa sawa? Kile ninataka ni kuambie tu na nikuhimize. Anza kumuuliza Mungu akufunze jinzi ya kuishi. Fungua moyo wako. Jinzi ya kuishi kwa sababu baada ya maisha haya uwe mzuri au mbaya kuna hukumu inakuja. Kila mmoja wetu. Mama mmoja amesema tunakufa twende binguni ndio je? Ah ah, kuna watu wanakufa na direct wanaenda kule pengine. Kwa nini ukusema mtu anakufa aende kwa Mungu na kwa shetani? Si naenda mbili, njiko njiko njia mbili mbaya mzuri huko sikia mikono na fitil mwingine amekuja hapa ameangalia nyumba sasa nyumba yemi ilikuwa ni kadogo tu sasa nyumba inakuhusu nini hata watu wanaongea huyu amenona sana huyu nini sasa mtu kama amenona dada ndugu inakusaidia nini mwingine alisema wewe tumbo mimi tumbo sasa inakusaidia nini uzito uko wapi kwako si uachane tu na mimi Atini mwezi kuna mwende. Mwende. At the university there was a preacher called Na ninyo na yeye wacha niwaambie sura yake. Tumbo hivi. Alafu nyuma ilikuwa flat. Anaume hivi hivi na flat. Na anasema yeye pia pia ndio ndio free man anaruka ruka. Nilitoka hapo nikasema na anasema yeye pia pia ndio ndio free man anaruka ruka. Nilitoka hapo nikasema I am handsome. Hallelujah. Verse 8 says, For when we live, we don't live for the money, we don't live for people. Some of us live because we are living. No, don't. Kuna watu hapa hawezi kufanya wamuzi mpaka ulizane kukolegi university. Na unakunya pomba yapi? Kwa vitu zingina mbazo, hata pomba mba ene jina, at what? Do it. 
Na unajua kuna mtu ama hapa anafuta tunafanya kazi kuna watu who cannot make a decision bila kuuliza watu. We are not living to make sense kiamo tu ni unajua ni wachungaji tunajua kukunja uso. Alafu tunaongea kwa ndimi eh. Nikisema tu Holy Ghost ame rika nikasema huyu mama fulani unasikia mtu anasimama na kibeti. I'm telling you. Na ni Kenyans you uko pale pia yes lord yes mtumishi yes well mama i'll give you a slap one day <laughs> mtu ile anakudanganya hata hakusoma yeye yeah, wewe ndio picha mbaya ndio unafanya shilingi inaanguka you must take stand firm as a young as, a, as, as an employee because of god the righteous life or you are those people who are out to wreak havoc there are people kwa matanga hata mkia na mchunge si mzenu kwa sababu kuna wengine wamekuja na unapata ni watu watambingu ya nani na hiu uchawi kwanza kule tumetoka watu mama moja amekuja kwa ofisi akaniambia sisema wote mutakuja hata mba yangu zisemi mama kuja kaniambia nilikuwa kwa nyumba yangu nimetembea nimeenda kwa mchungaji fulani nikampatia 7000 akaomba haiku ingia akasema nirudi ni 20 nikatoa 20 akasema ma people zingine zinatoka na 50 <laughs> mama akachukua 50 akaenda akapata na nyinyi mna pesa wakenya mko na pesa mimi najua hata sasa hizo kama uko na kesi unione mtu ananiona na 1000 milioni mbili hapa sasa hii Yaani mnataka tu kuintez mtu take this uko na pesa na mnaenda jahana <laughs> Mama akaniambia ya mwisho akasema na nyinyi mlikuwa mnasikia hawa ndugu wakapa Acha alikuwa kwenye nyumba yake ameketi paka akaenda paka kwa jikoni akachukua sahani tatu akachukua kijiko akapakua mboga paka <laughs> Nikamwambia alafu acha aliposema Jesus paka akatembea kwa madaa tatu huko hiyo 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 kunishtua lakini the fact that amepeleka 7000 20000 that was 7000 plus 50 77000 na paka baada ya kutembea kwa madaa na hiyo umeteseka hata hapo kuna watu umeteseka mlali nitaombea bure utalala wala mbona mnatezwa na mapepo na majini yote na uchawi for free wala mbona ni wagonjwa zingine mgonjwa zii inasimamanga tu high blood pressure huko tu sijui wapi ndio kuombea bure uvimbe five roads huko ndani takuombea bure lakini mshike Yesu tutaambia kwa lini mkubali hii vitu sisi mali tunafanya watangi tufanye tuongee mambo kwa social media sana na tv nataka ku resign yeye niongee watu kwa tv niambie wa Kenya bila ndio wa mbafu kwa kichwa hata ndawachi hiyo kazi next week. Waje nisema tu kama 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 Emily. Nawacha. The reason why we are living. We na unajua nawacha nimepewa kesi zingine naenda Mombasa. Eh watu nao wanasokuwa. Nikiwa tu hapa nimesikia tititi. Wapenda simama kwa mguu tu ombe twende. Nimemaliza kwani nini? Unajua? Dadi kabiti, unajua so many Kenyans want to put everything on people. Sasa kama mchungaji amekuja hapo dini. Mungu, Mungu. Hiyo wachana wa ndugu. Hii si sherehe ya kuomboleza. Hii ni sherehe ya kusherehekea. Hapa namna gani? Wengine wanasema kumbe alikuwa anaongea tu kumbe akui si Yes, maybe I was not serious. More than that. Where? Funga. Wana funga kamba huko ati akienda choo ilikuwa ya ndege mafuta kama ya ndege. Akienda choo atakuwa anaye naye kwa. Huyu jamaa. Anaitwa member ni mkisi. Na yuko kabisa. So, naweza kuniambia hata Richard wengine wa bunduki ona 
Vijana wameletea bunduki kwa nikihubiri tu hivi. Waleta bunduki hata kama una bunduki please leta tu hapa nitarudisha. Tutapeleka Nairobi area. Hiyo bunduki utakufa nayo. Na unaenda jana. Wale mko na bangi mtaniona kwa gari hapa hizi. Pole pole mnanipatia. Niende ni niombe mwachana na bangi. Wala ambao mmerogwa. Kuna mtu ana mama mmoja niambia huyu mtoto hata za tulienda si haya juzi. Yule mama amekaa kwake anasema huyu huyu msichana nilimleta yeye hakuwa na za. Akalea dada yake unajua jalo tunakwanga very generous. Kama azai unaleta dada yako. Dada yake alipofika tu akasema bacha akaongeza kingine. Akasema ameniringia watoto hawa hawatawahi kusoma. Mtoto wa 14 years lakini Ukimwona Nikao sasa ulifanya hivyo kwa nini? Acha niringia. Sasa unafunga watoto wa dada yako. Seriously. Me of course mimi si kwa naamini kwa uchawi. Lakini mnajua kuna uchawi, si ndio? Wala kama uko hapo mchawi. Ni mtu na wewe ni Wengine wanarusha mafi kwa mafi ya panya kwa miduka ya mlango ya mtu. Sasa tu unaroga. Adio mudo mlango kwe, muru kwa yuno na hita. Muru kwa biye. Si Reverend Pia meonge uko kwa uko kwe. Ata mimi ni meonge kido kwa jiu kama yuno. Ebu tu ni misha video tuombe tu. Mungu ni hai. Kwa jina la manao Yesu Kristo. Bana wa majeshi na kushukuru sana kwa sabayi. Wote mfalme. Hakuna yeyote ambaye anaweza kusema yeye ni shujaa kwa maisha haya. Maisha haya ni yako. We are only stewards of it. As my prayer that as we do this ceremony, let every listener, my listener tonight, come to realization that his or her life belongs to God. And Father, all of us shall give an account of our lives. Thank you, Father. Kama uko mahali hapa na unasema vile tunavyoomba. Kweli kabisa kwamba ungependa Mungu akufunze njia jinsi ya kuhesabu eh, siku zako. Moyo wako na utulivu. Vitu vingine vyote haviwezi kupatia amani. Mali haiwezi kutoa amani. Masomo la ni mazuri masomo lakini amani inatoka kwa Mungu mwenyewe. Kama uko hapa unasema ungependa Mungu aingilie maisha yako. Or maybe you are here and you feel in this post in your body. Maybe you are sick. You've tried so many positions and nothing has worked. Or just to say a very faith prayer that God may heal you and give you peace. Lift up your hand as we pray together. Thank you, Father. Mungu majeshi ni asante kwa hao wote ambao wamefika mahali hapo na wameinua mikono yao bwana naomba kaingilie kati wala hawana amani falme natangaza amani kwa maisha yao wagonjwa katika mimi natangaza uponyaji kwa jina la Yesu Kristo aliye hai kila mpango wote ambao ni kinyume na maisha hayo Yesu ninasema na natangaza kwamba wanapata fweni na wanapona katika jina la Yesu Asante mfalme. Bariki kila mmoja wetu wale waliokuja kutoka sehemu mbalimbali unawabariki. Tunapoendelea mfalme endelea kuwa nasi kwa Yesu Kristo tunaomba tukiamini. Nataka kuombea family hivyo tu mara moja ili tunapoendelea tuwe tunamalizia njoto family Family tu kuja na wale ambao mko labda close kama mama na sister and brothers just come and stand with them. And it's a very trying moment. But we trust in God who gives peace that is a possible human understanding. Yes, you know I'm speaking like this because I've also buried my I buried my mother that I loved so much. I was out 
for sure is Bunyi. When I came back, Nadia Nakufa, I was so devastated. But I thought this peace he will give you. It's not over until he says it's over. All of us who are here, we know how to pray. Just lift up your hand towards these people. God, wish them well. All of us, that's what I can say. It's not easy. Listen, you can cannot replace her, but as I pray for you, my brother Cliff, let peace of God be part of you and the children. God gives them peace. Now I also lost parents when I was a little girl. But God sustained me. You can still make it. You'll make it. Nothing. And I see you're very sharp. Very healthy. So Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you because of our brother Cleve. Mula Mula. Lord, you are God who comforts your people. Holy Ghost, your very attribute is comfort. You are our encouragement. Yes. Encourage my brother. Yes. I speak peace that surpasses every human understanding. Yes. In this family. Yes. Upon these children. Yes. Thank you, Father, because of every member, the mother here. Yes. Lord, and this other sibling. Yes. Lord, you are standing with them. Yes. You are giving them the desires of their hearts. Yes. That this house yes. will always be at peace in the name of Jesus. Yes. Satan will have no authority over this family. They are protected, they are healthy, and these children will continue with their studies and even much better than how they were. Thank you, Father. We love and honor you. I commission them into the ministry of even service for serving you, Father. They are all yours. We honor and we love you. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Amen. 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 Brother, in this peace, Thank you so much. Just sit briefly. I know. I know. Uh, you have something to add. Just to
aje aturudishie shukrani na tushukuru Thank you so much. Yeah,